When Brad Whitford makes his appearance, do you guys make like West Wing references? Like, do you have a walk and talk? Yes. Oh, we sure do. <laughs> Yes. Have a walk and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Great question. Um, yeah, that, it was a personally speaking a huge uh, uh, like dream of mine. I'm the biggest West Wing fan in the world, and a lot of other people on the staff are as well. And there's um, there are many little, very very tiny West Wing references in it. Um, my favorite one though is wasn't we didn't design. It's just at some point Leslie asked him a question and he goes, okay. You know that way that he used to do that? And I don't know if he did it intentionally or not, or whether it was, he was just being a character, but it was like, oh my god, it's Josh Lyman. It's so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a, the very first scene in the show is a, is a West Wing style walk and talk. So it's our little tribute to that great show. Exactly. Sorkin's taken 10% uh, of that. Yeah. Tommy Shalami directed it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, OK, question maybe over there, uh, right there, this. Hi, how often do you guys like improv your lines and like how much of it ends up in the episode? Um, not, not a lot of it. Um, most of the stuff that gets in the episode is, was the well-written jokes from the writers. We get a chance sometimes when we kind of feel like we get the script to play around um, and, and sometimes that makes it in. Um, sometimes the like jump cut stuff where it's like a talking head and we're doing different things that can sometimes be improvised. Um, but um, for the most part, the, the, the feeling of getting to play around and, improv and improvise is, is really um, uh, pervasive on our set. But at the end of the day, we usually um, have the written jokes are, are end up in the script. Would you, would you say that's the case? Yeah, but I would also say that every person in the cast has had improvised material in the show. I had my point. first one, I think. Which one? In your episode, right? Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> do I look like I drink water? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the absolute best lines were improvised. <laughs> in my <laughs> opinion, the, I, I think I said this at uh, uh, Paley Center Festival last year, Chris but it, it bears repeating. The funniest thing that's ever <laughs> happened, the funniest line ever spoken on our show is improvised by Chris Pratt, which is when Leslie has the flu and she's being let out and he's just at the computer, he's filling in at Ron's desk and he says, Leslie, I typed your symptoms into this thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. <laughs> <laughs> improvised line. <laughs> And honest, I'm not kidding, as a writer, it made me furious. <laughs> I was, I'm still really <laughs> upset and angry. He did it once, it, the camera happened to be on him, he did it once, and it's the funny, I think it's the funniest joke that's ever been on our show. It's he my just, favorite joke. He just show. improvised the line for you, for your episode. We have. Remember, um, when you're talking head. And he, he said something, and we were like, fuck. Yeah, well, he gave it to me. Yes. It was a really good one. Pratt, Leslie was talking about what a good debater she was, and, he, and Pratt gave me the joke, he, and Leslie was like, I was a master debater. <laughs> and I used to call myself a master debater, and everyone would point at me and laugh, because I was so good at it. <laughs> 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 <Remember that? laughs> Pratt, are you, gonna, are you gonna write an episode? Am I gonna write an episode? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the glory yeah. of the, uh, the improv. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Oh, no. uh, maybe one day. Maybe if we go like ten seasons and they're like, yeah, you know, we're, they're really scraping bottom. They're like, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, another one of my favorites. I don't think I could. When, when you said it was during um, the one, another episode you wrote, the the uh, the tele telephone, telephone. and uh, April says something really smart ass to you, and you go. Douche. <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines. I don't know if that made it in, though. I don't it's, think it did. Every once in a while, you can, like, you know, we get... Uh, what's nice is, because, it's, because of the format, because we have shoulder-mounted cameras, it, there's no setups. It's not like shooting a drama or something where you've got laying dolly track and it's making these beautiful shots. It's like three people, it's like you're shooting a documentary, so you're living these real scenes like you would on a stage in an improv theater, you know? And you're doing each scene so many times and capturing it really 15, 20, 30 times, that's unheard of, you know? And you get that many takes, not only on just one side of coverage, but the whole thing is being covered that many times. And so eventually it just takes its own life and you know, it, 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 it takes its own sort of like shape and, and you, you move past the, you've caught the joke four or five times the way it's written, it works, it's great. Hopefully one of those takes will work, but they're still trying to get something else. And in the meantime, you come up with something and you say it, you know, and maybe you've, you, maybe it makes the episode. 
It's, 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 it's like kind of a testament to the format, I think. Just like, it's multi-cameras. It's a single camera, technically a single camera show, but having several cameras makes it easy to add something in. You know, you're not wasting like $1,000 worth of film if you say something that's not scripted, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's a super safe environment. You, you, you're yeah. not nervous trying anything because, yeah. if you, I mean, improv, there's success filthy. and failure, and <laughs> if the, it doesn't matter. It's just it's such, a, it's a, it's such a warm set. Anyone who's worked on our show or will tell you it's the best set in town. And so you can try stuff and not be worried, oh, what's everyone thinking? It doesn't matter.